I am Dr. Raman Buddhula, Senior Consultant in Endocrinology Department, Yashoda Sikindrabad. On the occasion of World Diabetes Day, I would like to give a message to everyone. So I would like to discuss the common mistakes or misconceptions that will make one prone to develop diabetes. So diabetes, as we know, it's rapidly progressing across the world and our country, India, has the maximum number of diabetic people next to China. So the reason why we are seeing so many diabetic patients in our population is because of the strong genetic factors. We have strong genes which are predisposing us to develop diabetes. And together with this, the change in the lifestyle, rapid change in the lifestyle, which is bringing changes in the food consumption habits. So consumption of calorie rich food together with reduced physical activity, predisposing to obesity and this obesity will lead to insulin resistance and this in turn will cause diabetes. This is the most common mechanism. So we have strong genes and together with this lifestyle factors which are predisposing us to develop diabetes. So the common mistakes or misconceptions. Firstly, the family history regarding family history. So as I discussed the in among the populations in the world, our population, the Asians and Indians are have the highest risk of developing diabetes. So one can one usually people think that uh, for to develop diabetes you need to have a family history. So family history is there only then you will get diabetes. If the family history is not there then your risk of diabetes is less. This is not true because as I discussed we have a very as a race as a population we have very strong genes which are predisposing us to develop diabetes. So even if you do not have a family history of diabetes in your family, you will be at risk of diabetes. So you have to get tested for diabetes. Then secondly, the symptoms of diabetes. What are the common symptoms? The common symptoms include the polyuria, that means increased frequency of urination. Polydipsia means increased thirst and polyphagia means increased hunger and weight loss. So despite food intake, the weight loss continues if the diabetes develops and tiredness fatigue and uh, impaired wound healing if you get any wound it won't heal properly so these are the common symptoms of diabetes but again the symptoms are seen only in one third of patients so largely two third of patients of diabetes do not experience these symptoms so it it is asymptomatic that is why people think that if you don't have symptoms of diabetes you don't need to test for diabetes which is again not true because most of the patients of diabetes do not experience symptoms so you have to get tested periodically to know whether you have diabetes or not then the age of testing when to test for diabetes and people think that the diabetes is a disease of uh, middle age and old age so you have to get tested when you come to uh, 40 50 or cross of this age but again this is not true because we are seeing that our population, the people are developing diabetes at very early age. Compared to the western population, our population, the diabetes is starting at least one decade earlier compared to other populations. So this is very important to know because we are seeing people getting di diagnosed with diabetes at very young age, 20, 30 years. And even we are seeing the increased diabetes in child children also because of increased childhood obesity. The incidence of diabetes in the chil childhood is also increasing rapidly. So those who are young do not think that you have you don't have risk of diabetes. You have to get tested. It is recommended now that those who cross 30 years of age should definitely get tested for diabetes. And if you are tested now and if it is negative, the test is negative, don't think that you will, have, you will not have risk again. You will have to get retested periodically at least once in two to three years. So this is regarding the testing of the diabetes. Then the physic, the body physic. So as we know that diabetes is a, it commonly occurs in obesity. So obesity is the most important risk factor for developing diabetes. But again, people who are not obese, who are lean, may think that their risk of diabetes is less. It is not like that. Although the risk of diabetes in lean people is slightly less compared to those of obese people, but this risk will be there because as a race we have very high risk of diabetes so people who are not obese also even if they are lean they should get tested for diabetes periodically 
then uh, lastly the stress factor so although the the common traditional risk factors the obesity genetic risk factors and the uh, unhealthy lifestyle are commonly implicated in the causation of diabetes but stress is also an important risk factor stress due to any uh, reason like uh, is it whether it be job related stress or domestic stress any any kind of stress can contribute to development of diabetes or precipitation of diabetes so even if you do not have obesity even if you do not have family history of diabetes if you have any kind of stress due to any reason you should also get tested for diabetes at periodic intervals thank you